dear students in the last class we have seen cmos fabrication in envel process now in this class we are going to know cmos fabrication in twin tub process now uh, the coming to the process sequence the first step is formation of tubs so here we are going to form two different tubs one is envel and the second one is pvel so envel is going to act as the substrate for the formation of pmos transistor and pvel is going to act as substrate for the formation of nmos transistor this is the logic behind this twin tub process now uh, coming to the next step thin oxide layer construction so actually this thin oxide layer provides the insulation between polysilicon gate and uh, substrate so in order to have uh, this thin oxide layer uh, means construction of thin oxide layer means it is nothing but construction of gate okay now uh, the next step is formation of source and drain implants and the next step contact cut definition and the last one is metallization so these are the process steps we have to go through these are the important steps okay now uh, what we require to take as a substrate we require to take as a substrate either n plus or p plus substrate which is of lightly doped one we have to take and then in order to protect the latch up we have to take the epitaxial layer so the epitaxial layer means the extra layer which is going to grow on silicon uh, sub, uh, surface okay now we have to take a lightly doped n or p type substrate and then we have to grow some extra layer right and here the dopant concentration we have to take uh, correctly why because uh, exactly we have to take why because this dopant concentration it determines the electrical properties right now uh, let us go through the steps now coming to this first step we here we are going to take n substrate so you know how to get this n substrate uh, from silicon wafer manufacturing process we will be getting a pure silicon so if we dope with n type impurities or 5a group elements or dopants we will be getting this n type substrate so after getting this n type substrate we have to grow this uh, n type substrate or whatever the substrate we have we have to grow it so after growing this uh, this grown layer we can call it as epitaxial layer right so in this epitaxial layer only we will be going to form this envel or pvel now in order to form envel and pvel we have to define the areas where we require to form envel and pvel so for that process we have to go through oxidation photolithography and etching so uh, by means of oxidation means we are going to form silicon dioxide layer upon which uh, by means of photolithography process we will be having photoresist layer after that we will be going to expose that photoresist layer to uv light through the mask and this mask is used to define the area where you require this substrate to be exposed and where you don't require uh, or uh, where this silicon dioxide layer has to cover right so depending on the mask we we can able to expose certain areas of uh, silicon substrate to the external things and we can able to cover uh, that part of a uh, substrate with a silicon dioxide layer right so the same process will be going to uh, continue and we will be going to uh, select the area where you require to form envel and pvel by means of uh, these three process oxidation photolithography and etching after selecting a certain area here we are going to select the area of either envel or here this area is for pvel so you can take any side suppose if you are taking pvel this side 
you can take n well this side so there is no such condition you can take any side uh, up e well or n well okay now coming to uh, this one a p well is going to formed so we will be going to place some mask here over here and then we will diffuse or we will dope with p impurities so that you will be getting a p well here here the uh, doping method we will be going to use is a diffusion in most of the cases because we require a deep well so we will be going through a diffusion process not uh, not by the uh, ion implantation method so the doping is of two types right diffusion and ion implantation so we are going through a diffusion process here okay now coming to uh, the next step so n well also going to form so here we will keep some mask here in order to protect this area later we will be going to uh, dope with n impurities this particular area okay so now n well is formed and also p well formed what we have to do now in this n well we have to form one p mos transistor and in this p well we have to form one n mos transistor here whether it is n mos transistor or p mos transistor it is going to have uh, the three terminals gate source drain so uh, in order to make the fabrication process easy we are going to fabricate the gate first now let us see how we are going to fabricate we will be going to have uh, again we have to select a particular area that means this particular area in the middle of n well and this particular area in the middle of p well so that polysilicon gate has to be pattern so by going through oxidation photolithography etching process we are going to select this particular area after selecting the particular area we are going to have thin oxide layer upon this thin oxide layer we are going to have a polysilicon gates such that uh, you can form this polysilicon gates for both n well and uh, um, for both n mos transistor in the p well and p mos transistor in the n well so now after the formation of gates we require to form source drains of the both the transistors means uh, for p mos transistor and for n mos transistor right here p mos transistor which we are going to form in the n well requires p diffusion and also the vss contact requires p diffusion uh, we know why this vss contact is required because if we fabricate n, n mos transistor uh, separately that source must be connected to substrate but here if we are connecting the source to the substrate p well uh, this p well is a part or a part of the entire n substrate right so entire parent n substrate so we should not connect uh, such that like uh, p well we should not connect to this uh, source and as well as with vss so instead of connecting the entire p well with vss we uh, we are forming one uh, small p diffusion here in order to connect to vss so this is uh, this is why that's why we require this vss contact and uh, after the formation of p diffusions we will go for en diffusions so here comes the n diffusions n diffusions are required for the formation of source and drain in n mos transistor <coughs> and also uh, for the vdd contact right so as as how we require vss contact in the same manner we require vdd contact instead of connecting the entire n well to drain we are going to uh, form one small n diffusion here in order to connect to vdd and that is what we are calling it as vdd contact okay so now after uh, 
source drain everything is completed now what we have to do now we have to form metal contacts so for that we require contact cuts that means we are going to cut the silicon dioxide layer where we require uh, this where we require uh, contacts for each and every uh, particular layer right so we require contact for this vd contact as shown here and we require contact for this source or drain and we require the contact for this gate we require the contact for this source or drain and we require the contact for the source or drain here in the nmos transistor and for this gate also we require contact cut and for this drain also we require a contact cut here and we, for vss contact also we require a contact cut so for each and every layer we require a metal contacts in order to connect to external devices so in order to do that we have a contact cuts and after contact cuts we will be having metallization so after metallization is done the uh, cmos transistor in twinter process will be like this so that your vdd contact and uh, drain in pmos transistor which are connected to vdd and your vss contact and the source of nmos transistor both are connected to vss and both the gates of uh, pmos and as well as of nmos are connected to give input and both the source uh, uh, are here both the drains are connected in order to get the output so this is how you have to make the connections so coming to the summary of a cmos twinter process so here we are using eight masks here so the first mask is for the definition of well or tub coming to the second mask nmos active area to define nmos active area we are using this second mask and the third mask is for definition of pmos active area and the fourth mask is nmos gates and fifth mask is a uh, pmos polysilicon gates and the sixth mask is uh, contact cuts seventh mask is metals and eighth mask is over glassing okay so this is how we can have a cmos twinter process